Hi, welcome back to Naturally Pink. Today I'll be making a pin cushion in the shape of a dress form. It's going to be the first of hopefully many pin cushions I'll be making, but this one I wanted to make first because I just thought it would look really nice in my sewing room. I got the pattern off of a random Google search. I will post the link in the description below. So let's get started. Cast of characters today is this fabric from Joann's that has like nondescript cursive writing on it, plastic giant pearly beads, a candlestick, thread, and my pattern pieces. So now I have to trace around the pattern pieces with this washable fabric marker. It doesn't really matter that it's a washable fabric marker because none of this is going to be seen and this won't ever be washed. So it's kind of moot, but there you go. I also trace a disc of fabric out of the same size as the foam core board and one out of felt. I'm not sure why I didn't use my fabric scissors for that piece of felt. Those scissors suck a lot. This fabric I bought to cover some books that I had received and I liked it because it has this scroll work writing on it that looks very sort of antique or old world or whatever, like it could have been used to write spells. And the books I covered were actually Dungeons and Dragons books, so it seemed very appropriate for that purpose. I had so much cabbage left over from it that I decided to actually make two of these pin cushions. I'm hoping to send one off as a gift, maybe. But I, I really like the color of it. It's a nice, rich, dark blue, and the writing on it just, it doesn't look like it says anything in particular. It could be anything, and I thought that was a really nice touch. Also, it's a good arthritis day, so no gloves and no power scissors. So here's all my pattern pieces cut out. The smaller one is the front, this is the back, and these are the sides. The seam allowance has already been calculated into this pattern, so I am actually going to draw in a line a quarter inch all the way around these because I plan to hand stitch this and I want to make sure that I'm stitching with the correct seam allowance, so I'm going to do it right on the line. I'm going to be doing a back stitch since I'm going to stuff it and I don't want the stuffing to make the stitches pop open. This is also practice for me doing hand stitching because I'm not great at it. I don't love it and I'm going to try and do tiny back stitches to keep this thing nice and strong. I am very unceremoniously drawing the quarter inch seam allowance in this thing. I'm really eyeballing it. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I have drawn the seam allowance onto all the pieces. I'm going to first attach both side pieces to the back and then sew the front on and then the tops of the front and back get sewn together and then we stuff it. So I'm going ahead and putting a quick knot in my thread and then I will be back stitching the entirety of every seam in this thing so that it is nice and strong and holds together. Okay, it is sewn in three dimensions. And now I turn it right side out and stuff it. Okay, it is stuffed. It is the proper shape. I have to put this thingy into the bottom of it and glue it all the way around, although I don't totally trust the glue, so I'm doing a really rough gathering stitch all the way around. That goes on the bottom and then gets covered with a piece of felt and then another piece of fabric. So it is gathered and glued and the felt glued on. I got just a bit of scrap fabric for here to glue on top. Here is my finished sewn together dress form. I like the shape of it for the most part and I've glued this little pearl bead on top with a pearl headed pin in the top of that to kind of anchor it down. Um, 
it's going to be going on a candlestick. The problem is I don't feel super secure just gluing it onto the candlestick. I don't know if that'll just fall off eventually or what, even with epoxy. So what I'm gonna do is take a dowel, cut a hole in the bottom of this, shove the dowel up there, glue that in there, and then when I glue this to the candlestick, part of the dowel will be in here also. And so that will hopefully prevent it from wobbling and falling off and make it just a little bit more secure. I have this X-Acto knife that I bought specifically for the purpose of cutting mats out for framing, and I never knew how much I needed an X-Acto knife until I had one, and now I feel like I use it for everything. So I'm pretty much just kind of shoving this dowel up into the pin cushion with some quick dry glue. I have five minute quick dry craft glue here, and in a moment you'll see I have five minute epoxy. I don't know what it is about five minute glue, but there it is, five minutes. I am an impatient bitch. So I mix up the epoxy with a paper clip, and then I sort of swirl the candlestick around it like it's a martini glass, and then scrape the rest of the epoxy into the candlestick martini glass to make the bottom of the dowel fit. And then try and get that centered onto my pincushion so that it stands up nice and straight. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. I had a lot of fun. I hand sewed a lot, which is something that I had been wanting to practice doing. I have successfully made a thing. Uh, pins go into it quite nicely and it's sturdy and holds up, which I was honestly worried about because I never trust glue. <laughs> You'll see it hopefully in future videos full of pins while I make other things. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe so you can watch me make other stuff in the future. See you real soon. Bye.